What was he? That's the question. Jesus Christ, who are you? Who is Jesus? We can't escape him. We try to run from him, but there he is. He keeps popping up everywhere. Our greatest philosophers write about him. Our greatest historians write about him. Our greatest poems and plays are about him. Our greatest architecture is about him. Images and art and much of the music has to do with Jesus. Well, we know some things about him. We know he was a man. Jesus was completely human. He was representative of man because the Bible says he was identified, he was numbered with the transgressors. We know that he was hungry, we know he got thirsty, we know he got tired. We know that he had the joys of friendship. We know that he wept at the tomb of a dead loved one. We know that he had all the characteristics of a man. And yet, very interestingly, the Bible says that he never committed a sin. All of us are sinners, but Jesus was tempted in every point like as we are. He went through every temptation you've ever been through. There isn't a trial or a testing or a temptation that Jesus has not been through before you, and he resisted them and overcame them all. He was a man, just like you, but he was more than that. He claimed to be the unique, only begotten, incarnate Son of God. In fact, he claimed pre-existence. The scripture says, in the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God. Before time began, he existed. He said, before Abraham was, I am. I am in eternal existence. No wonder they got angry. No wonder they threw stones at him. No wonder they tried to kill him. And no wonder they eventually did crucify him. He stood and said, I am God. The Word of God. The eternal God became flesh in the person of Jesus Christ and lived like a man among us. That's what the Bible teaches. And when you come to Jesus Christ, you have to accept that. He wasn't just another revolutionary. He wasn't just another hippie. He was not just another great man. He was God in the flesh. Oh, the ethics that he taught. Never a man spake like that man. When you get hit on one side, he says, turn the other cheek. He never said what to do after that. But he did say, forgive 70 times 7. Was he who that he claimed to be? The son of the living God? David said, in sin did my mother conceive me. Jesus said, out of a heart proceed evil thoughts and murders and adulteries and thefts and blasphemies. All the evil in the world comes from the human heart. That's got to be changed. And that's why Jesus said, you must be born again. You must be converted. You must have a new beginning. And he can do it. Everything we do is by faith. Put it in Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, and you will know who Jesus is. You accept him by faith, and he comes into your life and into your heart, and you know that he's who he claims to be.